Can you reduce the risk of getting cancer in the first place? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, the Harvard School of Medicine has come up with a research saying that 75% of your possibility of contracting cancer can be nullified if you observe these 10 things. And here is what you got to do. Number one, avoid tobacco in all its forms, including secondhand smoking. Utmost important to protect yourselves, including yourselves and your inner self from all the toxins that come your way with the tobacco induction. Number two, eat properly. Can't say enough of this that please consume whole foods like the vegetables that are fresh and seasonal, the vegetables and all the goodness that is fresh and available locally around you. And please avoid anything that's high on saturated fats and red meat which may increase the risk of your colon cancer and even a more aggressive form of prostate cancer. Number, th Number three, exercise regularly. It's known to reduce the risk of prostate cancer and in case of women, also the risk of breast cancer and reproductive cancer. Even if you do not lose weight, it's fine. Keep exercising away from contracting cancer in the future. Number four, stay lean. Obesity is known to contract all kinds of diseases and also cancer. So therefore, take in only those many calories that you need. And if you have more intake than you need, then burn those fats and calories out. Go do what it takes to burn more than you Number five, avoid drinking alcohol. If you must, restrict your daily consumption to an average of one drink a day. That's it. Excessive alcohol increases the risk of getting a cancer of your mouth, of your larynx, of your esophagus, of your colon and your liver. It's not worth it. And in case of women, it increases the risk of contracting breast cancer. Number six, avoid unnecessary exposure to radiation. Get your medical checkups done only when necessary, which require you to expose yourself to radiation. Check your home for residential radon, which increases the risk of your lung cancer. Check your home for residential radon, which increases the possibility of contracting lung cancer. And protect yourselves from the UV rays, which are harmful, so be mindful of how you go out in the sun and at what time and for how long and how you protect yourself. Number seven. Number seven. Avoid exposure to industrial and environmental toxins such as asbestos fibers, benzene and aromatic amines. Number eight. Avoid infections that contribute to cancer like HIV or hepatitis. These are transmitted either sexually or via contaminated needles. So be careful. Number nine, make sleep your priority. How come? The more you sleep, that is, get enough restful sleep that you need, the more at ease you are and the higher your immunity system is. And the lesser weight gain you will eventually have. And because of that, you live a healthy lifestyle and keep the cancer away. And, num and number 10, get enough of the vitamin D. Go out in the sun during the morning and the evening times, just when the sun is about to rise and when it is about to set. Get enough of it. If not through the natural source, then maybe supplements. I don't know how that works, uh, but I go by the natural source to work. Why does that help? It helps keep away the colon cancer and the prostate cancer and keeps you healthy and radiant and also keeps your immunity system up. So I hope you take these precautions and help yourselves live a very healthy and a happy life 
far, 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 far away from anything that's cancer. And take care of yourself. Be blessed, stay awesome, and I love you very, very much. If you've loved listening to my video, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your loved ones who, in turn, could be helped with some of these tips that they can implement in their lives. Thank you for watching, and I love you. Mwah.